Hey, this is Antonio. Welcome back to my channel. Let's have some fighting words. In this video, I want to recap um, the fights that took place over the weekend with Ebony Bridges becoming the new IBF bantamweight champion, defeating Maria Cecilia. And right off the gate, round one, Ebony Bridges runs across and she's popping that jab. And I mean, she's popping a sharp, crisp, heavy jab. And Maria, I don't know what the plan was, whether the storm... Maybe at some point she was going to implement some type of game plan, but it didn't really look like she had much. Um, she literally just hid behind a high guard, and that was pretty much going to be her MO throughout the entire fight. And Ebony Bridges took full advantage of it. I mean, she came out blazing. And see, here's the thing, people, where I always talk about jabs, and I say, you know, if you're consistent with, with push, you know, pumping out your jab, it opens up a lot of other things. But on top of that, even for you, it it allows you to become free and loose and then to not necessarily experiment, but just to get fluid in your punching, you know, and not be so tight and overwhelmed. I mean, it is a fight, so you might be a little nervous or, you know, the crowd or the lights or whatever the case may be. But the more you, you jab, everything just kind of flows. And it just kind of comes out of you, you know, and, and it's, after a while, you're not even thinking about your, thinking about it. It's just natural. And right out, like I said, right out the gate, Ebony Bridges is popping that jab, and she's hitting it hard. She's pumping it, and after a while, she goes straight to the body. This is still round one, people. This is still round one. I, like, I was pretty impressed. I mean, she didn't waste any time, and they got right into it. Um, let me just stop really quick. So if you like what you're hearing, please like, please share my videos, and also please subscribe to my channel. Um, basically, I'm trying to not consistently talk about the same fighters over and over and over again like some people do um there's a lot of great fighters out there there's a lot of great talent and listen women boxers are on a rise and i want to give them the shine that they deserve uh ebony bridges worked hard over the weekend and she showed that she was a dog and she was scrappy and she walked away with a victory so that's the reason why i'm doing these videos i could be talking about earl spence like everybody else is or terence crawford like everybody else is but i want to give a more broad perspective and not just uh fighters in the states but fighters abroad in general there's a lot of fighters that people in the states don't even know about and they're good fighters and you should know about them because more than likely you'll be seeing them pretty soon but that being said please like please share and please subscribe to my channel now back to this um, like I was saying, Ebony Bridges was going to the body early. It was effective. She started, I mean, listen, if your opponent isn't going to do anything and she's literally just going to hide behind a high guard and, and rely on her strength and her endurance to hold her for her to eventually kick into what I'm assuming was going to be a game plan, but I'm assuming was going to be a game plan later on down the line, like round six or something. I don't know. I'm not even sure she knew. But I think maybe it was the fact that Ebony just started so fast. You know, she, she didn't hesitate and she didn't give her any room to breathe. She didn't give her any time to think. And honestly, Maria Cecilia was just too stubborn to back up. And that's what happens when you don't back up. That's Listen, you got a ring for a reason. Utilize it. And she didn't back up. She just literally stood her ground. And by standing your ground and not being offensive, you allow the offensive fighter to, to take full advantage you're not going anywhere and you're not punching back so you literally become a punching bag and that's exactly what happened and unfortunately it's exactly what happened to her round after round after round um like i said ebony started fast and she kept that momentum and i think at some point the overall thought was maybe she'll slow down you know maybe that was that was the word in, in in maria cecilia's corner maybe she'll slow down or maybe she'll take her foot off the gas yeah but she's the challenger um so probably not and you need to look at it as if she probably won't and like I, i'm not gonna bank on the fact that you might get tired of punching me as i stand here not not doing anything listen if you're literally gonna just stand there and allow that punishment then you should at least tie her up. You should at least, if nothing else, tie her up. Circle around. I don't know. Back up. Dance around the ring. But don't just literally become a punching bag. And that's literally what happened. Um, there's a few things that, that, I, that I like. Uh, so while Maria Cecilia was hidden behind a high guard, again, Ebony Bridges was taking 
everything out of her tool shed and using it in this fight. So she had this one little tactic where, okay, well, if you're going to just do this, she would take her forearm, push her back, and uppercut, and then she would go to the body. Now, technically, a ref could jump in, but again, if you're not... Listen, I always say, if the ref isn't going to say anything, I'm not going to say anything, so more power to her. And she literally used that tactic. There was another tactic she used. Now, she was... She, I'm not going to say she was like, fighting really dirty because she wasn't exactly pulling her head down, but what she was doing was holding on to the back of uh, Maria Cecilia's head. She's holding on to the back of her head, and then she's uppercutting. And it's just like, so it's one thing if you pull the head down, but it's something else if you hold the back of her head so that she cannot back away. That's what Ebony Bridges was doing. And again, she's learning really fast. She's learning these, these little tactics and these little tricks really fast. Uh, because that, that is a veteran move. It's illegal if you pull the head down. Now, you're not supposed to hold the head, period. But it's illegal to pull it down. But she was just holding it firmly so that she, Maria couldn't back away. So she could just take full advantage. Because again, Maria's not doing anything. So when people don't do anything, you just take full advantage of it. And that's exactly what happened. Um... Another thing that Ebony Bridges did that was really, I was really surprised and I was very happy to see. Again, so Ebony Bridges is, let me explain what she was prior. She was just a tough, rough fighter and really scrappy and basically would rely on her toughness to get her through the fights. This fight was a lot more educated. This fight was a lot more scientific. This fight had a lot more thought going into it. And one of the ways that I could tell that there was a lot more of that stuff going into it was because of the level changes and because of the um, just the overall amount or variety of punches that were being thrown. And the onslaught of a, of the body attack was sick. It was just, it was sick. It was just like, you know what? When Maria wanted to punch, because all she was doing was a one-two. So she was very, she was basically, you know, like after a while, Ebony just knew what she was going to do because she didn't she didn't change anything up. It was like the one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then every once in a while, she'd throw a hook, you know. But Ebony's changing levels and she's going to the body. She's uppercutting. She's going back to the body. Double, triple, quadruple hooks. I mean, she's doing a lot of things. And I'm just like, wow, this cannot be the same Ebony Bridges from the last fight. You know, this is a completely and totally different, renewed fighter. You know, like, and again, people I always say it, sparring, 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 you know, like it's it's great if you want to hit the bag and it's great if you want to do this, it's great if you want to do that. But you can tell that Ebony Bridges has been sparring a lot because she's literally slipping shots. She's picking off shots with her gloves, you know, so she can hold her ground. I mean, she, and I'm just sitting here like this cannot be the same Ebony Bridges. She looks so good. She looks so crisp. Um, I was very, very impressed with her and she earned it, you know, but by like round eight, Maria Cecilia jumps in the fight, like fully invested and she's really thumping and she's, she's getting, she's, she, she's hitting Ebony. I'm not, you know, Ebony Bridges isn't the hardest person to hit. She's hitting her. But by that time, it's, it's too little too late. You know, like you're not going to knock her out because Ebony Bridges is a lot stronger than you are. And it showed throughout the fight who was the stronger of the two who was pushing who around. So you're not going to knock her out and you started way too late to accumulate any type of points to where you're going to eke this thing out. And sure enough, she didn't eke it out. Um, I was impressed. I, I thought it was a really fun fight. I thought it was a very fast paced fight. And I, I thought it was a just an overall good gladiatorial game. <laughs> Like, it, it, it was a good one. It was definitely a good one. I see the maturity and the growth in Ebony Bridges. And, you know, Ebony Bridges was too strong. Ebony Bridges was too consistent. And, as always, Ebony Bridges is way too scrappy. And what, what else can I say? And the new. Congratulations to Ebony Bridges. And I look forward to seeing her next fight. But those are my thoughts. You drop your comments down below. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think about the fight. Tell me... Who do you like to see Ebony Bridges go up against next? Drop your comments down below. As always, please like, please share, and please subscribe to my channel.